Hello, everyone. This is Entrepreneurs of Faith, a Sunday episode of Monetization Nation. I'm Nathan Gwilliam, your host. In today's episode, we're going to discuss ways we can embrace adversity and have an attitude of come what may. In 2008, Joseph Worthlin, an American businessman and religious leader, gave a sermon titled Come What May and Love It. In his sermon, he shared a simple yet powerful message he learned from his mother. When Worthlin was a young boy, he loved to play sports. After a tough loss during a football game, he came home feeling discouraged. His mother listened to his story and said, Joseph, come what may and love it. When we experience hardships and disappointments, we have to learn how to pick ourselves back up and move on. While we can't control what trials we encounter, we can control how to react to them. Quote, every life has peaks and shadows and times when it seems that the birds don't sing and bells don't ring, Ruthlin said. Yet in spite of discouragement and adversity, those who are happiest seem to have a way of learning from difficult times, becoming stronger, wiser, and happier as a result, unquote. As entrepreneurs, we need to learn how to continue on after failures and adversity. There will be times when we lose an investment, a partner betrays us, or a client falls through, Yet despite these setbacks, we can find ways to smile and move forward. As we experience adversity in our businesses, we can find ways to embrace it. Worthen said the first thing we can do is to learn to laugh. He asked, quote, have you ever seen an angry driver who, when someone else makes a mistake, reacts as though that person has insulted his honor, his family, his dog, and his ancestors, all the way back to Adam, unquote. Instead of cursing the world, we need to learn to laugh at these small hardships. Laughter can help reduce stress hormones, release tension in our muscles, increase endorphins to boost happiness levels, and reset the brain to be more positive. Source, University of St. Augustine. As we laugh in our companies and successful careers, we will actually improve our state of mind and enter into a better mindset to continue on despite adversity. Quote, the next time you're tempted to groan, you might try to laugh instead. It will extend your life and make the lives of all those around you more enjoyable, said Worthlin. Having a sense of humor is a trait many great entrepreneurs have. For example, Elon Musk has a sense of humor about failure. When SpaceX finally reached one of their goals, they posted a blooper reel showing all the mistakes they made along the way, including failed engine sensors and a collapsed landing leg, source entrepreneur. They even posted a video titled, how not to land an orbital rocket booster. When we have a sense of humor and learn to laugh, we will be encouraged to try again, even after the most devastating failures. When we experience adversity, we should keep the big picture in mind. We may be stuck in a rut on the road to a much greater destination. Worthen calls this seeking for the eternal. Quote, you may feel singled out when adversity enters your life. You shake your head and wonder why me? But the dial on the wheel of sorrow eventually points to each of us. At one time or another, everyone must experience sorrow. No one is exempt, unquote, it's from Worthlin. We need to understand that no one on earth has lived or will live a life without any pain, disappointment, or struggle. If we can remember this, it won't feel like the end of the world when we hit a roadblock. Instead, it will feel like another hurdle we can jump over to continue on our journey. Quote, learning to endure times of disappointment, suffering, and sorrow is part of our on-the-job training, Worthland said. These experiences, while often difficult to bear at the time, are precisely the kinds of experiences that stretch our understanding, build our character, and increase our compassion for others, unquote. As we keep the bigger picture in mind, we will recognize that adversity is only temporary. Having faith and trust in the Lord will help us learn to accept and embrace adversity, we could know that the Lord would never give us a trial he knew we couldn't handle. Each hardship in our lives has been given to us for a reason. In Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, it says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not to thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Unquote. As we trust in God, he will help direct our paths and bless us. Kenton Lee is the founder and inventor of the shoe that grows. He created a shoe that expands five sizes so that it can grow with an impoverished child for over five years. He's helped send more than 100,000 pairs of shoes to children in more than 90 countries. 
However, the success didn't come until after six years of adversity. Quote, whatever God was calling me to, I really felt like I could do it, but I knew it wasn't going to happen overnight, Lee said. He continued, people often ask me, why didn't you quit? Didn't you get so discouraged during those six years trying to work on this idea? We had a lot of ups and downs and a lot of rejection and failure during those six years. As people asked me, I kind of said I never got discouraged really because my expectation wasn't that this was going to happen overnight, unquote, source technology of work. Lee kept the bigger picture in mind over the six years and continued forward with trust in God. He believed that God would help direct him down the path he needed to take. Sometimes we just have to do the best we can and then leave the rest in God's hands. A great way to overcome adversity and keep a positive mindset is looking back at and expressing gratitude for our previous accomplishments. It may feel like we go through failure after failure when starting a new business, but if we look back at where we started, we may be surprised at how far we've come. Arthur Godfrey, an American radio and television broadcaster and entrepreneur, was able to do this in his career. He said, quote, looking back on my achievements, it is fair to say I'm extremely proud of what I have done and accomplished so far, unquote. Godfrey went through much adversity in his life. Early in his career, he suffered severe injuries in a car accident. While he was in a hospital, he listened to the radio hour after hour. And when he was released, he got into radio and eventually got his own morning show on CBS Radio, Source New York Times. Godfrey didn't let his adversity stop him from progressing. He continued moving forward, looking back on his previous accomplishments and being grateful for where he was. We shouldn't give up just because we experience adversity. Soichiro Honda, founder of Honda Motor Company, said, quote, success is 99% failure, unquote. At 15 years old, Honda left high school to work in an auto repair shop. He eventually opened his own branch, and while working at the shop, he created automotive parts for Toyota, but they were rejected, source quality logo products. However, he didn't let this stop him. When gas became scarce after World War II, he created a small two-stroke motor that would need little gas to operate. Now, Honda is worth about $52 billion, source macro trends. As we go through adversity, we should find an opportunity for growth. Quote, I do believe that the way we react to adversity can be a major factor in how happy and successful we can be in life, Worthland said. If we approach adversities wisely, our hardest times can be times of gr our greatest growth, which in turn can lead towards times of greatest happiness, unquote. Here's some of my key takeaways from this episode. Number one, let adversity come and choose to embrace it. Number two, we should learn to laugh. Laughter can reduce stress hormones, release tension, boost happiness levels, and reset the brain to be more positive. Whenever we experience adversity, we should keep the big picture in mind. We may be stuck in a rut on the road to a much greater destination. Number four is we trust in God. He will help direct our paths and bless us. Number five, a great way to overcome adversity and keep a positive mindset is looking back at our previous accomplishments. And finally, number six, as we go through adversity, we should find an opportunity for growth. If this episode of Entrepreneurs of Faith resonated with you, please subscribe for free to Monetization Nation so you can receive future episodes of Entrepreneurs of Faith. You can, number one, subscribe to the free Monetization e-magazine at monetizationnation.com. Number two, you can subscribe to the Monetization Nation podcast and YouTube channel. And number three, please follow Monetization Nation on Instagram and Twitter. How do you overcome adversity? Please join our private Monetization Nation Facebook group and share your insights with other digital monetizers. Thanks for joining me for this episode. I wish you success as you overcome adversity.